In this video, you'll learn how to customize a column's filter drop-down list and add two predefined items to it. So let's get started. I'll start with a new Silverlight application project. I expand the Solution Explorer and right-click to open the Add Reference window. I hold down the Control key and click to select the following components. I click OK to add them to my Silverlight project. Next, I'll add namespace references to the devexpress.ag data grid and devexpress.ag editor's CLR assemblies. In the layout route, I create a new AG data grid control and specify a name for it. I save the project and switch to CodeView. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to use a simple list as my data source. I add the following class to store the data and another class to create some test data. Now I need to bind the grid to data. In the page's default constructor, I set the data source property to be get data function of the product list class. Now let's run the application to demonstrate the standard behavior of the filter dropdown list. I click to open the filter dropdown for the unit price column. You can see that by default it is populated with unique values of the column and three other generic entries on the top. I want to customize this by populating the list with two predefined items. I close the browser and return to Visual Studio. First, I'll add references to the devexpress.ag data grid and devexpress.data.filtering namespaces. I switch to the XAML editor. I create a new handler for the grid's show filter pop-up event. This event is raised before a column's filter dropdown is shown, therefore it can be used to customize the filter items. Since this event is raised for every column in the grid, I'll need to check to make sure that the correct filter dropdown list is customized. Therefore, if the column raising this event is not the unit price column, will break out of the event. If it is the unit price column, then the items in the filter box are cleared and populated with a new list of items. You can see that the two new items will display items that have a unit price value of less than $50 or between $50 and $100. You can see that the two new items will display items that have a unit price value of less than $50 or between $50 and $100. And I'm done. I run the application again to see the results. I click to invoke the filter dropdown for the unit price column. You can see that the other items are no longer visible and have been replaced by the two custom filters. I can click on each filter and it is applied to the grid's data. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.